In other news, a nine-year-old boy has chained himself to the roof of his grandmother's house in protest against allegations that a private developer has grabbed their land. And as you can see, the boy has chained himself and has refused to calm down. The incident was witnessed here by a resident here, Mr. Mandela. Politics is not what you see inside a ballot box. Politics is how underperforming leaders use the ballot box to win the election. Our corrupt leaders won't face jail time, but the free airtime bonus can get a blogger arrested. Mr. Mr. Minister, stealing money to build five stars. Could he be a star and build a public cancer facility? <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. We are sorry for what happened. Uh, Cyprian, you can mute. Cyprian, mute, mute the music. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and uh, we are sorry for what has happened. Uh, there was maybe a technical hitch. The space dropped, and we were continuing to speak. So with our policy of each and everyone here is being allowed to speak, uh, I'm giving this chance to Dr. Tari. I'm seeing someone with the name Dr. Someone here. Proceed, Dr. Ramadani, that is. Proceed. Good evening, everyone. Um, hope man is here. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, okay. One thing that I wanted to say is that uh, it's high time that this country, when we move forward, you don't go back again. Politicians have been investing in our power of forgetting things. We talk about something, we complain for two days. Once it's forgotten, that is it. The way forward, it is us to march forward. And the way, there's a time that President said that he's slow. Uh, I think he said that he's a scientist and he's slow. I have to say that is true. The guy is very slow. The reason why I'm telling you this is you cannot be a deputy president for 10 years and you don't know how to lead the country. The guy was always on top of vehicles campaigning and thinking that Uhuru wasn't uh, governing this uh, state well. He has taken the power, it's nearly two years. We are already on the streets. Why? Because he thought the policies are that easy. Secondly, the guy thinks that the whole country is stupid. And where I've seen uh, these guys are looting money from is the Ministry of Transport. That's why the guy decided to remove Kipchumba and bring Chirchir. That is where money is being looted. And it is high time that we forget this stupidity. How can someone just remove a governor aspirant and 
replace with the deputy. Remove a PS, a CS, and replace with the, his uh, 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 an assistant. Uh, that that just shows that the guy is just taking us for a ride. The thing is that is that let us not at all at all try to move back. Let us march forward. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, my brother. Then uh, Kate, you can speak. Okay. Uh, of which uh, thanks for Mike. Yeah, uh, thanks for Mike. So, your concern is the same. Ah, Nyakundi, thanks for you, for you, because uh, Kupata space, Pia Ningumu Sana, Kupata Mike for space, it is very hard outside here, but uh, you make it like a to be like to each and every member, it is uh, like a random thing. So, don't get a vitu chache tu kwa jili okay for now mtu akiuliza saizi of which uh, tunenda streets kwa nini hakuna swali kama hiyo saizi in the morning tulikuwa na that uh, diversion kidogo of which i saw it uh, ikiendelea pale space wapi wapi but uh, it is better for now at least tuna tuna speak in unity na tunajua like uh, ni JKIA na ni JKN ndo, ndo tunaenda of which imekuwa imekuwa poa sana of which tunaona tukiendelea hivi at least sasa ruta tona kuna kitu tunafanya kitu ya kwanza huyu jamaa ametuweka chini sana cuz tumemwambia fanya hii ameenda amekaa chini na wale watu wenye ako na akili zao wale wanamsurround pale akili mbovu wamekuja hapo wamemwambia okay umewaweza amerudi pale kwa kanisa afta kanisa amekuja ameongelesha watu matope sana of which unaona ni kama anaona sisi where do we belong kwani si tumezaliwa wapi hiyo country si ya mtu mmoja hii country ni yetu wote so yo statement tenyali make huko after kwenda kwa kanisa hata i don't know which church can host this guy and then guy kama huyu anakuja kwa streets alafu anaongelesha watu matope hivyo <coughs> so we going out na fa tumuonyeshe si ndio tulimweka pale na tunaweza mtoa pale na atuendi huko kumtoa kabisa kwa zili tunataka good governance Niyo governance ndio tunataka hatuwezi kuambia eh, dissolve parliament we unaenda na dissolve alafu unakuja unafanya shuffle unatuletaje tena ya chirchir hapa kwa cabinet kwani sisi ni wajinga ama ni nini atujui chenye chenye tuna tunataka ama una, una, una unalipa watu kidogo alafu unaona like okay you can manage the state atutalau hiyo so majama tutoke mapema tutoke mapema vile watu venye watu wanarukanga mapema wanaenda stadium madono kulikuwa na time ingine watu waliambiwa sijui watenda stadium na watapewa a short course each and every person watu waka camp stadium madono mkaongeleshwa watu waliongeleshwa nini the same thing dinafaa tuamke kesho na mapema tuende huko tuonyeshe huyu jamaa hata kama huko Nairobi uko wapi kisi kakamega vigori wapi toka nje fight for your uh, for your life fight for the next generation so ni tu ndianaza sema tutoke majama thanks nyakundi thank you so much uh... I can give a mock. The hand is up. Proceed. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, um, Milton. Uh, thank you, Cyprian Nyakundi, uh, for the platform. Um, 
just to contribute, I uh, have just a few lines to make. Uh, my concern uh, is only uh, with how things are running so fast and how uh, the government uh, are trying to play uh, to play the uh, the cat and mouse game in this and uh, we realized that uh, uh, immediately when there there was occupancy in the uh, in the parliament uh, they sat down very quickly and they <coughs> sent MPs home for recess and uh, today they are back and the first thing uh, the uh, Wetangula is telling us is that uh, they are going to have chance for them to table uh, the finance bill back for the MPs to vote. So this uh, definitely means that uh, there was some uh, time lapse they wanted to create to make people feel, to make people tired, to make people uh, slow down on whatever they were trying to look and maybe to bring some mixed reactions to see on how to deal with uh, with, with, the, with the public, with the Gen Zs. And uh, right now it is like uh, they are getting back to the default set, uh, set of uh, their way of doing things. And uh, looking at some of the few member of parliament uh, in, in, in certain rallies, uh, you see they are very determined. They, they, they say, and uh, like I had um, Osoro, of the of Mugirango, uh, telling us that uh, given chance they are go they are still going to vote uh, yes for that document, and uh, even uh, uh, MP uh, uh, Wamolo, that is uh, John, also said that they are not going to relent in that document. When 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 the do document is brought back to the house, they are ready. To vote it yes so so uh, the government is not uh, serious about what they are what they are doing Ruto is not even serious there uh, is, is like he squandered the chance that he was given so uh i see uh, we are uh, planning to occupy the jkia tomorrow and uh, i think uh, the government should not uh, sell people fear and the people should not fear about what the government is likely to do it is a it is a movement it's a revolution it is something that you have to execute because whether you execute it or not the casualties are already are already there and they, we shall have so many casualties given time if we fail to get Ruto out of that office the entire system then casualties will be something that people will not imagine of so i would suggest uh people should have a strategy of reoccupying the parliament completely and send the mps home they should ensure that there is no mp sitting back there is no business in that house until we have new members because these members are people who are both left right and center and they will dance in the tune of our president that is ruto so the best way we send ruto home we need to send mps home first once the mps are sent home then ruto will also follow uh, that's what i just wanted to put across thanks thank, thank you so thank you so much mook uh, i beg to differ with you uh because i don't think our focus now is not on parliament our focus is on the main man yeah we we, we shouldn't lose focus we were already done with parliament we were already done with the MPs. That was a done thing. There's nothing else you're going to do at, at Parliament. Story our Elisha. Story our my parliamentarian. The story of MPs Elisha. Yeah, they already like occupying the judiciary, occupying Parliament. Sorted those guys out. So, thank you so much, uh, Shikuku. Thank you, thank you so much, Milton, for the and uh, Cyprian for the chance. I hope I'm audible. So, what I would like to say, as we are going out tomorrow uh, to occupy the JKIA and to make to deliver our message once again, I would like to say that since this movement, we started this movement, uh, there has been um, the 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 words, uh, our message mainly was that. Uh, was that uh, we want the good governance, we want n uh, no corruption, and this message has fallen on deaf ears. 
Because Ruto has shown time and time again and the political class that they are not listening to what we are saying to them. So going forward, our movement, uh, with the, uh, this movement, we should start thinking of ways of forming, of organizing ourselves much better and going in there and taking the bull by the horns. Because how do we take the bull by the horns? First, we get rid of Ruto, he goes away. And then next, we start looking on how we can get our people into those positions. Because we have to get in there to do the change that we want. These guys are showing that they don't want the change that we are telling them to make. So it's up to us to take the owners on ourselves to go in there and take this. The millennials, the Gen Zs, 2027 is not far away, or even if it comes much earlier, we must get ready now to go in there ourselves. These guys are not going to do it. And that's why right now, as we have baked this cake, we have pushed for good governance and they are making some adjustments. You can see some old salamanders like Kinajoho, Kinoparanya, positioning themselves to, to eat this cake that we have baked. It's we who have died in the streets. None of them was talking about these issues. None of them has does not. Uh, none of them has done anything for this movement, and now they want to rip. You can see Mbadi, oh, all these other uh, these guys. They want to eat this cake. We should say no. And if we want them not to eat this cake, we should be there. Because if we don't, then politicians will always be politicians, and when they see a gap, they will take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh... Brother Francis Gaido, go ahead. Uh, testing, can you hear me? Proceed. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Milton and Cyprian, for hosting me and uh, the, this beautiful space. Mine is just about tomorrow and uh, talking about the weaknesses we always analyze. The problem is we've been uh, moving forward, uh, repeating the same mistakes and not analyzing our weaknesses. Our weaknesses has been uh, we've been going home. I wonder why you've been going home as if the job is done. Once you get to like uh, June 25th, it was a full house in Nairobi CBD, uh, after our comrades uh, stormed parliament, the, you, you were supposed to stay there and uh, uh, safeguard the revolution, to safeguard the gains. Uh, whoever convinced you to go home uh, was the hidden hand, was the hidden underminer, uh, was the hidden... Uh, can we call them sellouts uh, to, who convinced you to go home so that is the thing uh, if you're leaving your house tomorrow if you're participating in this uh, noble activity then you must be prepared to go the whole nine yards you must be prepared to finish the job to finish kumalo you must be prepared to uh, do what our ancestors set out to do but they didn't have the tools to communicate. We now are blessed to have the technology uh, so that we can be leaderless. We don't have to rely on one person. So I don't understand how one person can convince an entire mob to leave uh, a staging area for a revolution and go home. So if it is you who is a uh, preparing to go tomorrow, uh, wherever you will be. I uh, I may not, uh, uh, like, if we have said Occupy JKI, if we have said Occupy Mombasa Road, wherever you will be, it's not your duty to, uh, to go home and abandon the cause because that's just the beginning. You are, uh, the revolution is just but one component. Uh, the, my, my, the last speaker spoke about now what next. We have all these aging warlords like Raila Odinga, uh, Buru Dinga, we have um, Badi, these guys, all of them are opportunists waiting to cash in uh, on where they did not reap uh, shameless opportunists, shameless profiteers. They have uh, earned from the sweat of Kenyans uh, e e every electoral cycle while engaging in these phantom agreements called uh, handshakes. So John Badi and Co, we are warning you that if you continue making those inflammatory statements, we are going to come for you, John Badi. Can you shut up? We we don't want to hear your comments. Uh, then we 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 uh, if we are talking about JKIA, there is a press statement that has just been released uh, by the inspector 
Director General acting, he's talking about it's a protected... No, 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 those are stories. The protected areas are the military installations. They are what? The military is not supposed to be outside tomorrow. Uh, so they're trying to sell you fear. They're trying... The propagandists are overworking because this is a significant moment in the history of Kenya. Let's embrace it. It will... It, it was never meant to be easy, but the, the, the fact that we delayed from June 25th, uh, I had done a tweet that prior to June 25th, there were only two casualties. It was Rex Masai and one other protester. Uh, then after June 25th, he, then the, the, the casualties escalated. Why? Because when you went to your uh, estates, when you went to Gedurai and Rongai and where, the police came after you there. So you, your going home is not a, a guarantee of your safety as uh, had been promoted by the propagandists. I will not shy to name them. That is Boniface Mwangi. There is, that is Caliph Cairo. Everyone who discouraged you from going to state house, from occupying CBD, anyone who might have discouraged you or even pushed you to go home uh, did not achieve achieve their intended objective or so they claimed that it was all about its safety and security. No. So tomorrow where you, you walk around in groups, uh, as a previous speaker had spoken about policemen in civilians, if you see any, don't allow your comrades to be picked up by policemen in civilians. Don't allow because it is illegal. Every police who is assigned for the protest has to be in uniform. So number, uh, make sure that you, you, you don't allow any of your comrades to be uh, to to be picked up or to be arrested or to be held. Uh, so move in crowds. We have safety stewards for the goons. Uh, the J Jomo Kenyatta. First of all, we. Uh, for me, it seems like a very strategic idea because uh, this government does not care about locals, does not care about its own citizens, the people who pay the taxes of the very police who are tear gassing, shooting and killing us. So what do you do? Let's go to where Muzungus are and where is it? It's the airport. Tomorrow probably there'll be senior diplomats landing. So there you are guaranteed that the cops will not shoot aimlessly. They will trigger happy policemen uh, who, who, who love just uh, firing at any target may, may be asked to exercise restraint because why because they are muzungus so it is the best place because these guys care about muzungus than us uh, if they are kenyans in diaspora you know you all of you are supposed to be marching to your respective embassies the ones in the united states of america you know you're supposed to be marching to the international monetary fund the world bank you know those are the uh, the, the institutions that have underwritten they have bankrolled our misery they have uh, bankrolled our oppression so we must go there in a peaceful manner and submit our memorandums and, pro and protest and picket uh, and yeah, so I am very motivated to see that there were people who are there today, but I am also disappointed to see that they have gone home. The, if it was a if it was a preamble, if it was a cut and razor, they should have stayed there and wait for the others to join. So I don't understand with Gen Zs uh, and and the the protesters. What's this obsession to go home early? I need to understand well, the the psychology behind going home. That at five you're tired. Uh, at five we should be having another lot another consignment of protesters coming to replace perhaps those who are going for a night shift or something. Uh, I need to understand the psychology because uh, we'll, we will never reach and somebody has just suggested over there that w maybe we need to storm parliament but I think right now parliament has been overtaken by events. We could storm there if they embark on shenanigans like approving the the the, 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 the CSs who are renamed the deadbeats, the uh, spent cartridges who are renamed by William Ruto the other day who are reappointed and even the, the, the thugs who have sneaked in there, their names have been sneaked in there. So if 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 tomorrow is to be successful then you must go with the mindset that you're not going to go back home. Uh, that is all I wanted to say. I think that was the most important thing that was coming from me. Uh, thank you very much for, for, for allowing me to speak today. Thank you so much. Uh, Abdullah Rahman, is it? Um, I think I'm right. Abdullah Rahman, proceed. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. I, I want to thank you, Cyprian, for the platform. Uh, I also want to thank uh, Patriots that uh, throughout the, this struggle have um, given us their platforms um, and the, the audience and the massive following that they enjoy. I want to mention in a very special way 
can see my sister Marge is down here, Francis Kaido. There is MCCP, the MCP Peter, there is um Amerix, and there is um uh Kibe, I think, and all those others. So I want to thank you all of you. My sister Kesh, I can see you here, and um, all those that have used their voices. Uh, even when it's an um, inconvenient thing and when it's, it's uncomfortable, you have worked hard to ensure that uh, we have the voices, uh, the platform to um, continue our struggle. Um, I, I, I support uh, the march to JKIA and the march to uh, occupy everywhere else uh, for the different people that are located in different uh, parts of the country and those are broad and all that. I support Ruto must go with everything in me because he has proven that uh, for every opportunity he's gotten, he has killed us. I support that uh, we need to have reforms in our country and that is why I am suggesting as much as we want to um, continue the protests, we ought also to have, um, as we are exerting pressure and uh, exerting all the, 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 the we're engaging them in the streets and the, all the warfare we have uh, in the in, in the in the violent uh, boycott and refusal to uh, civil unrest to ensure that we we are listened to. I also um, asking that we we unite uh, the uh, divisions that we have seen and people uh, attacking and counter attacking each other. We could uh, set aside uh, our differences that we uh, might have been having from um, the past for the sake of our country because it is bigger than us it's bigger than everyone else so we could ensure that uh, we unite for the next couple of days because our victory is near i have already seen it i have heard it i have i feel it within my my systems that we are about to win let us not uh, listen to um divide ourselves i want to call uh our big wigs here, uh, Kinakimuzi, Maj, uh, Jilani, uh, Cyprian, I can see you, Gaido, I've mentioned you. I want us, uh, we strategize and have one uh, platform uh, space, if it is going to be hosted by anyone, and, uh, irrespective of whoever host is a child of Kenya, is a daughter or a son of Kenya, who host a space in which everyone will be at, in attendance. And we ensure that we um, we divide ourselves into 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 those that are going to be in charge of mobilizing resources for those that are protesting, and also we have intellectuals that are going to ensure we introduce reforms that we want, so that in case uh, we have a chance to implement our reforms constitutionally in forms of law, uh, constitutional amendments, and all that. For example, the ESCC, uh, the, we might want to, just for example, I listened to them yesterday in the space held by Mizani saying that they do not have powers to fight corruption. So if we decide to do, go the constitutional amendment route, we might decide to, um, to, to have those experts that will be engaged in the review of law and the constitution and all that. Uh, the other branch that we might need is continuous political education and, uh, and so that also when we take over power we do not uh, um, repeat the same mistakes that we are accusing uh, our, our uh, the, the current regimes of. So I, I, our plate is full ladies and gentlemen, I am so excited, I can see victory day, um, a few days from now. Let us be um, uh, each other's uh, brother, let us be each other's sister, we are countrymen, we are patriots, we are doing this for the love of our motherland. We are doing this because we want to, um, to bequeath a better country for those that will come for us. I have had uh, um, that revolutionaries most of the times do not enjoy the fruits of revolution. So uh, you may be fighting here and you will not be probably even be here when uh, the rest of the people are going to be enjoy, enjoying the fruits of the revolution. So it is, we are doing this for the country. We are doing this for the love of our motherland. We are tired of seeing other countries progressing and our motherland is stagnated. We are tired of seeing people that do not, um, have not even, uh, are not as, as learned as we are. Uh, ruling over us, clueless of how to manage an economy, clueless on how to manage uh, uh, the populations. Uh, we, it's a shame we cannot even feed ourselves, uh, our fellow countrymen, and we have resources. Our motherland has minerals, our motherland has water and, 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 and favorable climate for agriculture. I am so fired up, I don't want to uh, over, over talk. 
but I feel like um, the, 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 the state, the, the, the position and the point we are in life, we are about to achieve. Milton and Cyprian, I thank you a lot for the platform and firing us up. Tomorrow we are up, we ensure that we succeed. And when we, 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 we are done with this, we take another step, we decide now, at this point now, we want to be having into branches in which we are going to subdivide ourselves into respective and we unite, we, we, we temporarily suspend whatever differences exist among us, we forge together as a team and we achieve for the sake of our motherland. Kenya is thank proud, you. our ancestors are proud, our freedom fighters at Fort Mzungu are proud of us. Thank you so much and blessed evening for everyone. Thank you so much, Abdurrahman. Jelani, you can speak. Hey guys, thank you so much, uh, Cyprian. Thank you so much, Milton, for this space. I have not spoken in a space in a while because um, I think every time I join, I want to hear what people have to say. So I want to address a few things, even as we look forward to tomorrow, which I am just very optimistic and hopeful that you know tomorrow will be successful. I'm hoping that a lot of you come out we have done the best that we can to push this on social media, to push tags. I literally wake up in the middle of the night to push a tag or to be on a space to the extent that uh, my, my friend Kim Woozy was like, hey, Jelani, you need to sleep. You need to, you've not been sleeping very well. You need to sleep. We have done the best we can on social media. We shall continue to do the same. I really do hope that as many people as possible come out tomorrow. There is a post I did on my Twitter. Uh, I will try to find it and retweet it so that y'all can see it. But uh, a guy who is ex-military told me, all we need is numbers. If at every given point, at every given protest, we outnumber the police, then we will succeed. 200,000 people, 300K, up to a million. So physical presence, physical boots on the ground is so important. So the things I want to address, A, we need to put our differences aside. I don't freaking care what you feel about somebody and what you think you know about somebody. We need to put that aside because our collective joint enemy right now is William Ruto. He is the one that is destroying our country. He is the one that is looting us dry. He is the one that is killing us. That is who we need to focus on. That is who needs to be our enemy. I'm actually really pissed off about people that want to center individuals and their perceived crimes in this protest. It's not about what Jelani did a hundred years ago or what maybe you think Nyakundi did or what you think Boni did. That is irrelevant at this point. What is relevant right now is we come together and fight this political outfit. Ruto needs to go. Rigazi needs to go. We need to go back into an election. That's what we need. That is the bottom line. That is the most important thing right now. When we wake up in the morning, that is all we need to be thinking about is how, how is Ruto going to go home? He has to go. He has to resign. That's number one. Number two. If you can support the movement in any way, if you can, if you can give money, if you can give T-shirts, if you can, um, you know, write hashtags. I mean, push the hashtags. Whatever way you can support the movement, Tafadali, please let's stop leaving it to some people. I know all the big wigs. Well, it gets exhausting because you have to push out all this content and hope that people retweet it. And then Unakuta Bado, people are still waiting for you to be on the forefront of fighting for their rights. Like at the end of the day, it gets very, very exhausting. So I need us to come together, whether you have one follower, 10 followers, 50, it doesn't freaking matter how many followers you have. We all have to come together and speak in one voice. Otherwise, this is not going to work. It is not, if we do not unite, this is not going to work. I was in a space a while ago and I said, if we do not come together, the amount of trouble and worries and problems we are going to see from William Ruto, we are not going to believe. Listen, what has happened? He said he has dissolved the cabinet. What did he do? Reappoint literally everybody else that he had fired just a couple of weeks ago. He said he has 
uh, he has gotten rid of the finance bill. What did Batangala say today? That they are going to vote on it again. Why are they voting on something that Ruto said a while back that has been kicked out? These people are playing games. They are playing games. They are shifting goalposts. And what we need to do in response is to shift up our gears. We need to increase our efforts. We need to increase our efforts. We need to make sure they are listening. So tomorrow, tafadali, tafadali, if you're going out to JKIA, please end on a roho moja. Um, I will support as much as I can. I have supported as much as I can. I will be praying for you. Um, there's a lot of boots on the ground. A lot of people have reached out to me to say they are mobilizing. I commend all of you, everybody that's at the forefront. We are so proud of you. Let us liberate Kenya from the jaws of this very dangerous, awful, greedy, madras, witch doctors who have taken who have taken control of our country. Um, the other thing and the final thing that I want to um, address is Tafadali, please, 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 please. If you have any information about um, the missing people, uh, watch out to watch a Queen Gia history of big wigs, small wigs. That thing is not helping us at all. If you know anybody missing and you're worried that if you put it on your timeline, no one has seen it, please message Cash, message MJ. I've seen MJ is really pushing that. Um, there's a page called Missing Reports KE. Please message that. I had put out a tweet that was supposed to be for Faith, Othiambo, and Irongo. They are yet to get back to me, but I'll follow up with Irongo today, where we need to set up a command center in Gedorai for um, the missing people. I think we also need to set up one in Rungai. So I would need to receive... Um, if they can share the budget for that with us, and then we could see how to fundraise for that, um, because I'm not sure that we have access to any other funds unless we fundraise. If they could reach out to us and tell us what this command center would cost to have it up for three, maybe four days, collect the information of anybody that is missing so that we are able to look for them, that would be really, really great. So now, to watch a history, or we are not paying attention to missing people. It's really challenging to be pushing tags, responding to DMs, um, living your daily life, because I believe everybody has a life outside of Twitter. It's extremely challenging to focus on every single thing that's happening on Twitter. So please, if you reach out to a bigwig and they delay in responding to you, or you feel like you've not been able to get your message across, please don't take it personally. It's not personal. It's not personal. It just sometimes gets very overwhelming. I am so grateful to you, Cyprian and Milton, for giving me this opportunity. Kesho Lazima, please, Tafadali, to Finya, we have one opportunity. All of Africa is looking at us. They're looking at us. If we are able to liberate Kenya from all the struggles that we are facing right now, oh my God, Africa is going to follow cause. Uganda, Rwanda, Nigeria, everybody is suffering under, under this cronies. And we just need to set the pace and make sure that Kenya is liberated. Natukimaliza, because we are so good at this thing, we we'll go help our fellow um, Africans. Asante sana, Milton. Asante sana, Cyprian. I see the Thank mic. you, Jelani. Uh, the, the guy with the name Hello, the lady with the name Hello, speak. Uh, let's not take more than two and a half minutes. Uh, I want so many people to speak. I don't want this to be like those other spaces where uh, the selected few speak. I uh, see if uh, there is a discriminatory thing. So, hello, go ahead. Hello, uh, thank you, thank you, Cyprian and Milton, for giving me this opportunity. Um, what I will talk about is Kesho. There is so many people, there are some individuals who uh, want to host spaces, Kesho, uh, from 8 on Afrika Mpaka 4, Waki Jaribu could divide the hands of people, so the minds of people. So, tomorrow, there is no Akuna Mamboya spaces. What you do is, um, there was a time when Akuna, well, just imagine we are going, uh, what the Maumaus want to end up to fight the battle. Then uh, Kuna some individuals who are trying to act smart, like, like the uh, the 54 millions of us are mad. Then another Kuliza, what are we doing? What are we going to do? Why is the document that we are going to give the Mzungus to tell them this is what we want? I thought that we, as the Mamaus, we wanted the Mzungu to leave. <laughs> there is no document that we are giving them. 
We want them to live. That is why we have in one voice, we are going out there to fight. The same way with tomorrow. There is nobody who should uh, create a space telling us, oh, oh, we should think about this, should think about this. We have been thinking about this for so long. We are jobless. We uh, The jobs that we were doing, they have uh, destroyed them because they wanted to overtax them. That is why we are out there. We have been thinking about this for a long time. So there is no document that we are giving them. We want them to leave. And we have made up our minds that we are going to occupy JK, JKIA until they leave. So tomorrow, Akuna Mtuana Stahidi Kutuambia, oh, think about this, think about this. We have thought about it. You are not the smartest guy in the room. We are all educated people, young uh, men and women who have um, analyzed the situation. And to me, there is no way that this man is going to take us forward unless we want to act like ships and uh, uh, ships who, who don't have hands thank you thank you i will not take a lot of time thank you tomorrow so thank you so much uh, thank you so much uh, african uh, you. unity and progressive you've been here for long speak speak your mind out hello 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 hi guys can you hear me proceed proceed everything is okay here Thank you so much, Santi. Yo, me ni man. Me, I just want to say there's something about Ruto. That guy, there's something. Um, he's mad. You know, he's just old and because the records are there. This guy has been fighting with Raila uh, through time. You know, for this freedom of speech, and now he forgets. Now he thinks he's. Uh, I guess I don't know what to. Speak say but all i can say is we are dealing with people in government who are not normal they're not right mentally all of them there's no one special my name is love more but i do not see anyone right now these guys can fool you they'll fool you tomorrow next year you'll find that the guy is in a different position based on where his position you know and where his interests are and uh it's quite unfortunate um, that all this has to up happen at the cost of uh, interests. No one is looking at why do we have to make Kenya better? Why do we have to fight for the next generation? But they are very stingy. They are fuckers. You know what I mean? To us, man, retards. By the end of the day. You know, they are the same God they go and pray in churches for and they pretend, they feel like they're doing good in front of God. God is always there. Nothing lasts forever. Nothing. He will not make a dynasty. There's no way he can do so. He's already tarnished anything he's doing. And I'm saddened by, sorry to say, uh, Francis, the girl just spoke a few minutes ago. I've never come across him, but yeah, hearing him say, about on the 25th of june about guys going back home bro well, why were you you get me like that's instigation in the sense whereby being still a politician and sadly you see in his profile he's going for the embakasi seat or whatever he's doing but those are not words you spew in terms of when the movement is going on um yeah i'm i'm, I'm disappointed i'm angered but at the end of the day guys we will not lose god is with us Thank God you so is much. with us. The power is with us. Thank you, thank so, you so much. Those are all the words I have to say. Hello, and, uh, God bless you. Thank you so, thank you so much. Uh, re relax. Uh, uh, I think uh, this King Kai guy has been here for a while. Let the guy talk. Hey, good evening, guys. I hope I'm audible. Go ahead, uh, so, go ahead. Uh, when you're doing a chance, just, proceed. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Cyprian, thank you, Milton, for this opportunity. And uh, what I'll just want to tell you guys, I think uh, you've seen what the government is coming back to. You've seen what the president has called this movement to be. You've seen likes of Akina Osoro, 
you've seen the the the, the, the whole thing coming back it's like they thought this movement has died so i like how it's been uh, about JKIA from the, the time we started pushing this thing. This time round, there has been no diversionary, despite the fact uh, we saw it in the morning, guys trying to divert our attention from the main agenda, just like we did on 25th, and we said that we are occupying parliament. Let us push this, let us go out there, let us occupy the JKIA, and tomorrow, guys, uh, let's have our phones let's have our cameras take any if you see any plain clothes uh, police cops if you see anyone being arrested and you uh, you are in a position to take the the, the, the videos kindly do it uh, as 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 much as this movement is concerned i'm so happy this is the only time that we can save our country this is not about us this is about our generations to come and guys, let me tell you, if this guy is going to come back and, 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 and take over, guys, we are in for a big shit. Oh, Jamani, you let say, atatumaliza, atatumaliza kabisa, and he's not going to give a, 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 a fuck about it. So guys, to jitokeze kesho, about guns, maybe if you are, I don't want to bring in this issue of big week or small week. But if you think like maybe your information cannot reach a bigger audience, you can uh, you can reach out to a big week like Jelani has said. You can reach out to uh, the likes of MJ, likes of uh, Nyakundi, you know, likes of Milton. You you uh, you can tag them. You can you you can tag them. You can inbox them uh, so that this thing goes viral. I love the spirit, guys. Let's keep pushing thank you let's do this we will not have any other chance thank, thank you, you Milton. thank you, thank you, thank Kai, you uh Oala, you can speak you've been here for some time uh, thank you so much for this space i've really been waiting for this chance i will uh, be very um, straight to the point one the way forward is uh, ruto must go and why does ruto have to go uh, because uh, our call is for good governance and we all know as we speak that ruto and good governance are mutually exclusive these are things that cannot uh, coexist so ruto has to resign the constitution provides for uh, the president to resign so nobody should tell us that we are going to unconstitutional uh, measures the constitution does not say that the resignation has to be voluntary we can push him to resign the bottom line is once he resigns we can proceed with our country and have other presidents who can actually do what we want um uh, next uh, uh, his call for peace, Ruto calling for peace is inconsequential. Why is it inconsequential? Because Kenyans, we have peace. We are very peaceful. What we want is justice. And we realize that justice cannot be with Ruto in the same sentence. So he has to go. Uh, tomorrow, let us come out in large numbers. Our security is in numbers. This has been reiterated by a lot of people. Let us come out in large numbers. The moment we are out there in large numbers, we will overwhelm these people and we will be at JKIA. And I agree with what Gaito said earlier. Let us occupy this time. It's not time to visit like we've been visiting places and going back home. Let us occupy because we want something. And let us ensure that before we leave the battleground, we have whatever we have. If unfortunately some of us, um, it's a revolution, so definitely it can't be bloodless. If some of us remain there, if I remain there, I have no regrets and nobody should have any regrets about this because we are all adults and we know what we want. This is the only chance we have to get good governance and we have to take it. I am done to Patani Kesho JKIA. Thank you so much, Owala. I'll go to Steven before I move to uh, the lady Mude, uh, Maj, it's called Maj, Maj Ralph. So let's go to Steven. Steven, you can talk. You've been here for some time. Good, good, good evening, Cyprian Milton. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Mine is to tell everyone that uh, it's it's upon us to deliver this country. Uh, Ruto, we gave him a chance, or he was given a chance. Uh, this has been two years of complete looting. He brought ministers who became billionaires, gave us fake fertilizers, and the parliament of dogs went ahead and sanitized. 
So we have not trust in that parliament, we have not trust in the presidency, because he has even gone ahead and stirred the water by bringing again people like Chill Chill, people that somebody goes in UK and says, I gave money to Chill Chill. He is convicted in, uh, in UK. In Kenya, he is still being appointed and appointed. We are fed up. We want clean governance. And none of these politicians, old, old, and old, because all of them are cousins. Either they have dipped into those pockets and taken our money, we are fed up. We need a clean start for this country. Thank you so much. Tuko pamoja sana. Tupatane. Thank you. I know there are so many people on the queue. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, Madge, you can uh, proceed. Uh, let, it, let it not be more than uh, two and a half minutes so that others speak. I don't want it to be like those are the biased spaces where people don't get chances to speak. Thank you so much. I hope I'm clear. I just want to be very brief uh, because people have spoken a lot. I want to point out just a few things. Uh, point number one is the misinformation that's going on online. And so there are people who come up and actually present, uh, uh, you know, information and say this happened. But uh, others tend to dismiss them without giving counter evidence. At this point, I'd like to point out that days ago, Miguna Miguna talked about people being murdered and cremated. So far, people have told him that he's lying, but nobody has presented evidence against what he's saying. So yesterday in the space, he also, somebody also confronted him with that, and he said, everyone who feels they have a different information, they should really bring it. And I think this is important because if we dismiss without evidence, we risk even losing lives out there, but people will not be knowing what's going on. Point number two is about uh, the missing people. Of course, I saw that um, Jilani has talked about it, but I've been receiving also a lot of information about people who are missing. And so the, my point is that there's no coordination. We need to have that. Point number three is um, manipulation that even the politicians are doing while they use the constitution. I'm going to point at Article 146 of the Constitution that actually tells us what happens when uh, the office of the president is uh, vacant. Obviously, uh, the first point is that uh, the, the VP, the vice, uh, the deputy president takes over. And that is a fact whether this president uh, this deputy comes from Mount Kenya or not. But we find that the, some politi uh, 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 opposition politicians are trying to use it and say the mountain is doing that. No, that's a division. That's the, uh, the fact how the constitution is, whether the, the deputy would come from Mount Kenya or let's say Mount Elgon. But again, for those who are asking for Ruto to resign, be aware that if only Ruto resigns, the deputy president actually resumes and uh, takes over until the end of the term. So if you want both of them to go, you should be calling for both of them to go. That is when uh, Watangula will take over and call for elections after 60 days. So that's clear. Let me rush uh, to the next point. Yeah, the next point is about... Uh, um, Can you summarize? Yes, I'm summarizing. I had questions from people on the ground and they were saying they were attacked by police in, in Nakuru and they felt like arming themselves. I want to really tell the population they are not to arm themselves against the police because you're going to be giving them power to oppress you further. And the last point is about another person who asked us if they could occupy private businesses. I would like to really call against this because this is going to cause a lot of divisions. We are not fighting our own citizens. We are really fighting for the good uh, of the citizens. So that having been said, I thank you so much and just like to tell you that on Thursday we're going to be having, I'm going to be hosting Chirera for the ex-commissioners. So if you have questions for them, you can come over. Thanks uh, Cyprian, thanks uh, Milton and thanks everyone for the opportunity. And when you go out thank there, you. stay within the laws and don't make yourself a target. Uh, good thank you, Madge. Uh, uh, I saw how Wilson Ogweno here. I'm I don't know why it's, he has disappeared too. Uh, I think Dr. Ari can speak. Okay, thank you so much. And So for those who can't understand Shenki Dogo, I'll try to explain, but I'll be fast and brief. Bro, me, I'm a businessman in Gikomba. 
and uh, just summary bro tangu Ruto akam kwa kiti i'll just be brief bro niko na sira mo by the i don't know i can punch this phone i can punch fuck everything fuck business fuck the government i just don't know what to say but uh, some, some I, i will summary before it comes to to, to be a president eh? bail was costing her uh, 6000 shillings right now if you go to buy a pair of shoes it will cost you 15000 shillings double the price the bail that used to cost 18000 shillings is costing 25000 shillings for right now you cannot buy one pair to go and sell you cannot buy two pairs and go and sell things are tough bro the businesses are closing down the rent are getting high the comba is burning and people are buying the lands to set up a building whereby people they, they want people to go there and pay rent how are you going to pay a rent of 40000 and you sell crocs what the fuck are you telling me you want me to pay a rent of 40000 shillings and i'm selling crocs at an open air market bro that's a fucking shit that's one two about abductions bro my friend clinton was abducted on tuesday right as he was demonstrating he was taken to court on friday he was denied cash bail he is now there at industrial area people are working hard to i, I always go there to check on him one or three but he has been told until have a, another court but i think people are trying to uh, go to some lawyers to lsk are trying to go there and get some help about occupying jkia bro guys guys this is the time don't sleep don't sleep guys bro doctor you seem to be losing you your internet is in stable i'll not remove you as a speaker i'll wait for you to come back so that you can complete your your statement In the meantime, Honorable Wilson, proceed. Wilson, if he's not getting me clearly, then can I continue? Uh, Dattari. Yeah. Your internet is having an issue. Uh, tr try and proceed so that I I can hear it on this side. Okay, are you getting me? Your network is having a problem, so that's another issue. Aching, uh, you can proceed. Hi Milton, I'll be short and thank you for the opportunity. First of all, I have one point but I just want to um corroborate what Dr. Ya said. Tanguruto ingia kwa um kwa kiti biashara imekuwa ngumu. Personally, I'm a business and entrepreneur and iko na duka hapo Moy Avenue. Clearing has become problematic. Clear um logistics companies are, are closing down. They can't afford the taxes they are paying. they're being asked for we can't afford also to pay what they're asking for and then to bado tununue mizigo dollar rate rent as in things are just becoming too thick number two, Marge um spoke and she said at when you say ruto must go it's like we are fronting a shagwa no i just want to corroborate her. i don't think when we say ruto must go we mean that gashagwa should remain when ruto must go anaenda na gashagwa yake and if we feel competent enough in the speaker to hold the election sure but what people don't know the government is made up of three arms the executive the legislature and the judiciary our cj is a president by the way i'll just leave it out there and um what's my point of the day um there are these abductions and everything my mom to, um actually told me to bring this out to you guys mkiona mwenzenyo na bebo wako na plain clothes let's rally together and stop that you know if you have 10 people and two people are trying to abduct somebody we can clearly overpower them and you know you ask why are you taking somebody but if people are being abduct abducted and tunaangalia tuna watch and tuna re tuna record and then we put it to twitter it's more detrimental if tunaweza kuwa na hiyo spirit ya sisi kwa sisi ukiona mtu amekujiwa pia nyinyi mnakujia mnatetea mtu wenyu the power of the numbers that's all i just want to say They don't see somebody being abducted and usima and you just watch let's move in groups and let's turn out in big numbers that's all i'd want to say thank, thank you thank you so much aching and guys let's not leave anyone behind whenever we get a chance When someone is being taken away let's shout I saw someone being abducted in town and people were shouting they threw the car with stones and the guy was left yeah 
the only people who should be abducted are terrorists. We are not terrorists. This country belongs to us. We are the shareholders. Leave alone the Gashagwa's stupid speeches. Fuck him. Honorable Wilson, go ahead. Milton, can I just interject one minute? And guys, historically, this is what helped South Africa. South Africa, when people were being taken away, the only thing that helped them in their movement is they stood for each other. If you see somebody being abducted, if you see somebody being beaten, <coughs> you come up and you stand up with that person because we are together in this. Okay, I jump to a tattoo or what to cremate. The cremation thing is, is also, also still a thing. We don't let's not dispute rumors without facts. Okay, that's e all. exactly before Wilson proceeds. I wanted to say this, or I want to say this. Huh? You guys, if you stop this, these guys will start picking you one by one. They'll kill all of you. Yeah, that is it. Proceed, Wilson. Thank you so much, Milton. Thank you so much, Nyakundi, and everyone that is in this platform. <clears throat> oh, I'm kind of pissed off. I want to start by, for example, what happened the other day on Thursday. <clears throat> this, this gentleman was running Again, if the police police was going the other direction, he was going the other direction. Then the gentleman was shot at the head. I don't know whether it was the Tiagas canister or the live bullet. And uh, other protesters were just passing by. They were like assuming that's very, very wrong. That's very, very bad. Let's be our brother's keeper when we are in, uh, out, out there on the streets. Let's make sure always at all costs we are brother's keeper. For example, you see somebody, you can easily notice that this is a suspicious person, meaning he's a police officer in a plain cloth. These people, you should do away with them. If we are not with them, then they should not be with us. Because whatever we are doing, we are not only doing it for ourselves, but for, but for the entire nation. Now, we have those who always thinking about their stomach. A good example is somebody called uh, John Buddy. In a time like this, people should come together for the betterment of the nation. But if if you hear how this uh, very crook guy, is, crook guy is speaking, he's not thinking about himself. He's not thinking about the Kenya we live in. He's not thinking about anybody. But he's thinking about only something called stupidity. Because there's a times we put all our differences together to walk towards the achievement of our good will of the nation. The guy just went for his stomach. Eh? Why? Why? My friend, if you know what is right, if you don't act, they'll give you something that is wrong, and that thing will oppress you. For the first time in the history, we are having a very, very important and uh, comprehensive issues that we are settling as a nation, as a country, especially what is coming forth tomorrow. JKI is the best place to attack, and we are not attacking. We are taking over. Taking over, meaning you are taking back what is rightfully belongs to you, not what belongs to them, what belongs to you. We gave the presidency an opportunity to lead this nation, but it seems that the presidency, not leave alone Ruto, Ruto might also be under press that he may not be able to control. It's the presidency that we are talking about. The presidency, we are talking about the Kachagua, the Nancy, and all those taka taka. Because they have been overwhelmed. They don't know what to do it, how to do it, because if these are the people that even if you sit with them, you give them the advice, the moment you leave, that thing dismisses. It sublimes. Eh, to appear somewhere else, you see? Meaning they, you can never help them. I've seen these people, we've sat together, we've give, given different ideas, but they don't reenact on them. Oh, the JKI once again. For those who are coming from Olongo, Kitegel, and all those areas, you have a better chance because you do not, not only need to come through the JKI gates, no, you come through the uh, Siokimau, the Katani area, you can spill like, eh, like uh, rain. For those who are coming uh, from uh, uh, Kayole, uh, Mbakasi, the entire Mbakasi, the entire, how do we call it, uh, Kasarani, you don't need to go all the way. You can just spill it. You'll go because you have that power. You'll go. For those who are coming, my brethren from uh, Pipeline, 
and those who are coming from Tawende, all those areas. My friend, you don't need any gate. It's you to make that gate. If you don't make that gate, no one will come and make for you that gate. My brethren, let's be our brother's keep and do what somebody, somewhere, will always live to regret. That I knew because I got an opportunity to re rectify this, but... But I did not. There's something called procrastination. It's a thief of time. Let that not be our case. Our case is totally different. We are the young generation. And it's upon the young generation to take control over this nation. My friend, don't be this. Uh, my friend, if you know what is rightfully yours, you don't beg. For example, my boys have never come and beg for me for anything. They command. Then why do you want to beg? You don't need to beg. Say what is rightfully yours is yours. I know a good number of my guys here. Hey, some of them are uh, presidential advisors, some of them in the presidency. And my friend, you are the, the main problem of this nation because you, you are always like, thank you, sir. Or, or, or affirmative, sir. Thank you, sir. Affirmative, sir. My friend, have that mouth to say no when it is no and say yes when it is yes. Why do you have to say no when you know it's yes? Then why do you have to say yes when it is no? You are killing yourself and your generation. And you live to regret this day. So kindly, please, guys, you know what you want. I don't know what thank you, you want. Thank you so much. But I know thank you, you so much, brother. Thank Winston. you so much, Milton and everyone. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Let's meet e tomorrow. E Roy blog. Thank you very much, uh, Nyakondi, for organizing this space. Uh, this is a Koroi blog. Also, thank you, Milton, too, for agreeing to co-host this. Uh, you are doing very important thing for the nation. I'm going to talk about why tomorrow is important, and I'm going to talk about this from the lens of public sector impunity that has emboldened corruption in the private sector that has pressed use for too long. Take, for example, uh, man will be to address a common enemy, and I think uh, this is the time, tomorrow is the time, that uh, youth, I've been told always that uh, they can create uh, jobs, they can be entrepreneurs, yet there are so many blocks, there are so many roadblocks that are put on their path towards achieving this. But I want just to target one company, the company that you know that actually also try to stifle your protest and uh, our protest and our liberation. This is Safaricom, the rogue telco. I hope and strongly believe we will be successful in our effort to rid ourselves of corruption. Uh, Kenya politicians and in turn also clean the private sector. Why do I say this? Like about 2015, Safaricom founded, actually launched a Zindua portal, ostensibly to get creative tech ideas from the youth, pros promising them partnerships. However, we fast forward to 2020, things had uh, gone south, and it's, as it emerged, Safaricom had uh, stolen all the good uh, intellectual properties and what is intellectual property this actually according to uh the wipo website it says that uh, these are creation of the mind such as invention literary and artistic work design and symbols named and images used in the commerce so an intellectual property is supposed to earn you something but then safaricom having reached a uh, intellectual or a uh, creative monopose just launched uh, in 2015 as indoor portal where people were supposed to send their creative ideas but then when they sent it was stolen but i don't say that all the creative ideas are actually intellectual property i just narrowed to around three that were actually big and they were done by the youth and they would have created a lot of jobs for the youth in this country but safaricom as a stifler of uh, innovation in this country has continued to also threaten this youth. I have evidence of uh, also being threatened for talking about this and uh, these two days where I'm actually even talking about publicly. Uh, one of the most promising intellectual property was uh, by this guy known as Anyona Obutu. Actually, went to Safari and asked that actually now you have uh, where yes 
Oh, proceed, proceed. You are having a network. Yeah. Sorry, I'll move. Uh, conclude, so conclude. for me, yeah, I'm co I'm concluding. So maybe just maybe I'll make it short. So uh, Safaricom stole some very good intellectual property, like for this one that you now have that somebody cannot register a number with your ID and it will bring a alert on you a phone that is on and then you'll refuse or agree. So this was something that was done by Anyona Obutu. And then after about eight months of uh, being presented to Safaricom, we are not But uh, after Anyona went to to complain, there was a DCI poster wanted by DCI poster that was created for him, a fake one actually. So you see, Safaricom stifling innovation for the youth, stealing them. That was just one. And then returning threatening him actually with the wanted by the same poster that was fake. Uh, I'll talk about that much, but I also I was also threatened by for exposing these things on the blog. And uh, the other one is uh, there was this Ampesa iTab. It was also stolen. M Shwari, if you fall, go back, it was also stolen. There are many more that have been covered on that blog. So when the youth actually go out tomorrow, you're not going to actually to fight only government impunity. It's the government impunity that has emboldened the Safaricom and the other private sector. Actually, Safaricom, Kenya Bankers, Equity Cooperative, all these guys, they have blood on their hands. They stifle innovation. Youth lack job. Then they stand in forums and say, you can be entrepreneurs and yet they put roadblocks and then they treat us with police and then they track us and then they kidnap us and kill us shame on them we want a good country so tomorrow go out and protest to have your country back if you kill the private public sector impunity the private sector will actually align and actually do the right thing thank you very much thank you so much simply fuck safaricom they are avoiding a lot of so uh let's go to leroy leroy you've been here for some for a while speak guys le let's let's at least keep time easy i want people to talk so many people so two minutes when i get to a panga point zako before you compare time you see i think oh i want oh ah. leroy proceed thank you thank you milton thank you cpn as well for for hosting this space uh first of all condolences to our fallen comrades to their families their loved ones you know we won't forget them at the end of this uh for me i think uh, it's good to first of all say that i'm a millennial and i feel like uh the mil millennials have really really let uh, the gen z's down especially when it comes to this particular protest I think there's so much that we can do in terms of support. Um, and also maybe for those uh, millennials who are corporates, I think most people fear that they might uh, be victimized in one way or another, uh, even end up losing their jobs. But I'm hoping that uh, that's, you know, that we can see Gen Zs are losing their lives, losing, losing your jobs over speaking up uh, when it comes to a government that has failed us should be top of the priority. And, you know, even the... Uh, different different corporates should be able to embrace because we are speaking up they have different speaker policies and yet this is the ultimate one when it comes to you know calling out our government so for me i think millennials especially those ones who are in corporate please kindly ensure that uh, people are able to participate in this process in this protest in one way or another even if it's just encouraging them to walk out and to and to join the people on the streets so for me those are just my points and uh Viva, and I hope uh, we see a better Kenya. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Lero, for keeping time. I wish everyone could do this. Uh, Edwin, speak no more than two minutes, brother, please. Uh, thank you, C uh, Hero. Uh, thank you, thank you, C uh, Cyprian, mm, for giving me this a chance to just give a quick rejoinder to Ruto. Uh, and uh, I want to call all of us to join on this struggle because this is our time to liberate this nation. Uh, Ruto thinks that he has given us a lot of time, but we also think that we have given him a lot of time. Out of this, he has just wasted our time, 
he has just remained arrogant and is calling in for violence and which we will show him tomorrow. We want to dance the last tune now so that he can know that the people really have power. We will bring everything to stand still tomorrow. Our roads, every, everything, like Arizu Biasharas is Funguliwe. We want just to show this man like he's just a man like any other. Equally, we have other men who can lead better than him. We will show him this tomorrow. And I call all of you, don't give up. Let us show up in numbers. Let us, uh, let us call off this government. Let them go home because we don't have time for them. They have wasted us. They have stolen from us. Uh, and we cannot wait the, uh, to, to, to take back what they have taken from us. We send them home and then we start taking out what they have taken from us. So therefore, let us all join together. Let us fight for this. Let us fight for a better future. From tomorrow, I believe we shall now start seeing the fruits of our independence, where we have quality education, we will have those better doctors attending to us, we have those better roads. I mean, all these things we have been denied. Like we are being told like there is not enough to give us all these things. And we view that this government has taken more than enough from us so that we can enjoy those things. Uh, like they are taking more, they are stealing from us and then they cannot provide e even any essential service to us. Then again, they are the people turning arrogant to us. I eat a quad the same. I eat a quad the same. Let me just wait for tomorrow. I don't know what I will Thank do. Thank you so much, Edwin. Yeah, let me wait tomorrow. Thank you so much, Edwin. I go to Isaiah. Isaiah, if you're ready to speak, go ahead. I think he's not ready to speak. Terminator, go ahead. Ah, uh, niaje wa se ni step hapa but na tumeoji na tumineta pia mina ungea from Kayole karibu na miango kwa hiyo river ina kwa gana huko chini nafanya job ya garbage collection na huu mse huu mse nge ruto tulim campaignia asubui mchana na usiku time ya campaign wakatu promise wagon Kwa wenye wajui wagon, wagon ni mikokoteni hizi za chuma hizi. Wakatu promise, hadi wale watu jayi wana kitu. So kuna venye tunashuku, kuna corruption kali ingililia hava katikate tujapata wagon zetu. So si uku chini, uku down hivyo, wase wame jam, wase wako na tension, wase wame, <coughs> wame amua, kesho ni maandamano, tumejikusanya, kuna wase wako na ndudi, kuna wase watatembea, hadi uko sunajua uku, Kayole miango na huko simbali na JKA simbali. So asewa meamua, kesho mutoke maandamano musi ogope. Kama mtu wako area na ogopa, ani inbox, tunaiza organize, tumejikusana na union yetu ya asewa garbage. Kesho tunafika maandamano, Ruto must go and the time is now. Vijana tumeamua, mika kami mini millennial, X Gen Z. But niko na mbogi angu ama Gen Z pia huku. Wanajua kenye kinaendelea, wamepata story ya minerals, waso wame jamba sana. So, nafikiri hii ni awakening, hakuna mtu nafaa kuwachua nyuma, juu ni future ato yuetu, hii ni future yetu, na tuweleze pia maparo zetu home, wajue kenye kinaendelea Kenya. Hii political class, wame tubeba ufala for long, na inafaa wajue tumeamuka na tumefunguka macho. Na kesho please usibaki nyuma. Kama ye ni kijana, kama unajali kusu Kenya, please tokea maandamano. Misi na mengi ni ayo tu. Thanks maze for this chance. Haikuwa giraisi kupati wa mic kwa space, but nashukuru sana. You're welcome Terminator. Hapa hakuna ubaguzi yoyote. You're welcome any day. Let's go to Elvis Tom. Speak. If you can't get us clearly, Eric Kahiga or Kahindi, speak.
uh, Elvis, uh, not Elvis, I mean Eric, can you speak? I'm not able to hear you. Eric, I think your, sister, your side has a problem, so I'll give you time later on. Jakadem, speak. I don't know, uh, Sylvia, Sylvia, you can speak. I think I'm audible. Okay, I just want to can to talk 